Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about asset. So digital asset. So what is a digital asset? To asset. What is considered as a digital asset? And when it something is an asset. So today, after you're watching this video, you will learn about asset, about what is considered an asset, and you will learn what is a digital asset. So let's talk about digital assets. So what is a digital asset? So what is an asset? An asset is considered something that you have that can bring you income, income every month. So if you have something and you, 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 you spend money every month, and you don't have no return, that means it's not an asset. Let's say you have a house. Your house, you pay your bill every month. You pay the, the bill, you pay the insurance, you pay the taxes, and you never have nothing in return. It is not an asset. It is just something you have, like you're spending money on it. So when it is an asset, it is an asset is when you can make monthly income when you can make money on it every month that's when that consider an asset and then for digital asset it is the same thing something that you have instead of spending money every month that bring you money in your account every month so what is considered a digital asset so what is a digital asset what consider a digital asset a digital asset is the same it's almost using the same principle as a physical asset so you know to build a physical real estate all you have to do is like you purchase a piece of land or you own a piece of land and you can either build something on it or you purchase it the real estate with everything on it or you have a piece of land and you build a piece of real estate on it this is what they call real estate it's the same thing for digital real estate it's either you own it or you purchase it you can purchase a digital real estate you can purchase an asset so how it's work in the digital world what do you need to create or to build your digital asset what do you need and how do you do that so this is what i'm going to talk about in this video make sure you watch my other videos because i give a lot of information things that you would need to pay money to learn but I give them for you for free. So the, for, that, for that, please, you can check my channel and I have a lot of videos. So let's talk about real estate, digital real estate or digital asset. So how you build your digital asset? You know, to, to build a physical real estate, you need a piece of land. And after you own that piece of land and you can build anything you want on it, there's a lot of things you can build on it. That's considered real estate. And then... Uh, it's the same thing for digital. You need something to build on. So what is it? It is your email address. Your email address is considered as the piece of land that I am talking about. The piece of land, that's what you need to build anything you want to build. So what you can build with, uh, with an email address? You can build uh, an email list. You can build a profitable YouTube channel. You can build a profitable business online where you can sell everywhere. You can build a Facebook business page. You can build a Facebook group. You can build an Amazon store. You can build a Shopify store. You can sell on Spotify. There's a million of websites you can use to make money. And all you need to start is that piece of equipment or the piece of land that they call an email address. It's the same thing. In the physical world, that's what they call consumer. Some people, they use the email address as a consumer, but some people, they use it to make business. So how do you do that? When you, when you have that email address, if you want to create a Facebook account, you need that piece of email address. If you want to create a YouTube channel, you need it. If you want to create a business, whatever business online it is, you need it. That's considered not only a piece of land, but it's considered as your identity also, because that's something you use to identify you as the owner of that property that you're trying to enter property that you are trying to get access to so what's considered a property a youtube channel is a property is an asset so when you use it to watch a video only it's not an asset but you, when you use it you can make money you can make monthly income it's considered an asset 
a Facebook business page is an asset. When you use it, if you use it for fun, it's not an asset. But if you use it to make money, it is an asset. Facebook group is an asset. If you use it for fun, it's not an asset. If you use it to make money, it's an asset. How do you build those things? It is important to learn how to do that because it's not something you can just like come on the internet and then you build something huge, you build a business. You have to learn that. That's why we have the training. And I'm going to leave a link in the description. Check it. It's going to title my number one recommendation. Click on it and visit that training that we have where we teach people how to do business. You can build any kind of business you want using skill that you already know thing that you've been doing in your life for a long time you have all the experiences and you can use that to build a successful business so this is what this training is about i don't have nothing to sell i don't have nothing that i'm going to sell you and they can ship to your house uh, you can try it for a couple of days if it's not working you don't like it you can pay and return it back no I don't have none of those things to sell and I wish I could have it. By the way, I have to create something to sell because, hey, selling is the, what I do. So I have to sell. More I can sell, more money I can make. But now I don't have nothing to sell. All I have is the training where they teach people how to do business on the internet. And the good thing about this training, you can try it. If you don't like it, you can ask your money back. You have a 30 days money back guarantee you might try it you don't like it and you call them or you you, you can go on the they're, gonna, they, they're going to give you a back office you can go to the back office you request your money back you don't have nothing to lose well you can try it. if you're watching this video you want to learn how to build real estate digital real estate you can check my program the teaching to the business and if you don't like it well even something is good, not everybody going to like it. But the only reason I recommend it to you is because that's what I'm doing. They teach me how to do business. They teach me how to, to build everything on the internet. They teach me how to build my asset. This is how I know it is good because if it's work for me, I'm not the smartest person in the world. If it's work for me, it can work for you too. So make sure you check it. And what other thing I can consider as a, as an asset? If you have a blog, if you have a website where people can visit your website, they can check your content, they check what you have on your website and they pull their credit card and purchase something, this is an asset. By the way, a website can make you a lot of money every month. It depends how many visitors you have that visit your website every month month so those are assets so how do you build them? so to build a website all you need is the same thing it's digital the email address you go to bluehost by the way i'm gonna leave a link on the description if you wanna start your website you wanna purchase a domain and you can click on there and you will be able to purchase the domain check that if the domain available but a piece of advice if you wanna build your business make sure you build it on your name Use your name as the business. If you want to build a website, like you can check stanleycamo.com. Don't, don't put the www, uh, just put stanleycamo.com. And you can visit my website. It's under my name. And that's the only way people can trust you. When a person know that my name is Stanley, and when I send them to my website, the website is the same name. And when they go to my YouTube channel or my Facebook, they see the same name, they can trust you easily. By the way, this channel is called Millionaire Tech because when I started my business, I didn't know nothing about branding. I brand, I choose Millionaire Tech and I brand Millionaire Tech, that is my business, but I have other brand name that I am using also as my business. So if you go on Google, you, you type my name, you will see all the information about me. That's mean I'm not a scammer. I'm not here to scam you. Uh, but, well, by the way, I can't scam you because I don't have nothing to sell. I'm not going to ask you to send me money. So you don't have nothing to lose. All I ask you to do is just try my program. If it doesn't work for you, in 30 days, you have your money back. That's it. So how do you build your digital asset? Let's say you want to build your email list. That, again, consider as a digital real estate. All you need to start with is the 
your email address and you can go to Aweber that I am going again leave a, a link in the description you can check Aweber if you want to build your email list you have up to 500 subscribers you will pay zero dollar it's free you don't have to pay nothing up to 500 if you have 500 zero one you will pay i think it's 16 17 dollars i don't remember because i have it by the way i mine is not free i pay a lot of money for that because i have like a lot of subscribers i have a lot of uh, my email list has a lot of people on it so that's when i pay a lot of money for for mine but but either it's not a problem because it's my digital real estate I make money from it so i don't have problem paying all those money because i make money and i have another other waste funder that i'm using that's on trust off by the way on trust off is not public yet it's not not everyone can use it pretty soon it's going to be public you can be able to use it but now it is private only on trust student can use it but is uh a funnel builder or the waste funder and you can create a lot pipeline a lot of stuff for your business if you have an agency it's good you can use it in your business it's really 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 a good tool that's have everything you have to run your business that is on trust of but it is not public yet but still you can check it i have videos that talk about on trust of you can check those so if you want to build a successful business on the internet so you have to create your digital platforms that are considered as digital real estate you need a facebook account you need a twitter account you need an instagram account you need a tiktok account facebook you need youtube you need your blog you need an a reddit account uh well there's more there's there's a lot of social media account you and all those is depend on how you use them they are digital asset because they can bring you money every month if you want to learn how to do that check my description that's good check it check my description and after you build that and you can sell whatever you want whatever you you, you wish because i cannot tell you it's depend on your skill what skill do you have if you're good at like design thing you can sell design stuff and you can go on amazon you can, you will find a lot of product you can you can refer people and you can sell them you can sell on facebook you can sell on using your blog you can sell on instagram you can sell anywhere because those are assets and when you have asset asset they make you money if you are in the online business well it is you are doing it to make money like, don't get me wrong you will spend a lot of money too because it's depend how you build your business you will need a lot of softwares to help you maintain your business to make you maintain a relationship with your customers but you will be able to afford them because you will make that money and on the internet most people that are coming on facebook on youtube on tiktok on instagram everywhere all you need is an address so if as soon as somebody has an email address you can make money i'm telling you and it's the same thing when you go to walmart or you go to home depot or any store they ask you how you want your receipt if you want to receive an email with your receipt they can send it to you so what do you think they're doing it's marketing they use digital marketing they building another asset and don't get me wrong digital asset bring you more money than physical asset because you used to go to a store to purchase something and the same store you give them your email address now while you sit at home they can send you an email and most of the time they send you similar stuff that look like thing similar to thing that you purchased before and they send it to you and you need it they send you the email and if you need it you just click on it you enter your card and all information and you just ship it for you but the only difference on what what i do i don't have to ship nothing because i don't have nothing to ship so it's my business my kind of business is easier if you are an affiliate marketer you can be affiliate with any 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 company and if you are an affiliate even that person has to ship something it's not your problem because you don't have to touch the product when you're doing affiliate marketing you don't deal with product you don't deal with customer service 
you don't deal with none of those that's why it's good if you have an email address and well if you're watching my video that's when you have an email address and you can use that email address to make money and if you join this program they will teach you how to do affiliate marketing the white way they will give you the white training they will teach you how to do agency agency marketing that's when you can do marketing for other people and they will teach you how to market your business how to find people that you can sell so all those things you they're going to teach you how to do all those things so that's mean you have only to win you don't have to lose you have nothing to lose so if you don't mind you can check it this is this is it for this video i guess now you know what is a digital asset it's something that you have it's based on a piece of land that they call email address your email address because to create a youtube account you need your email address to create your facebook account your email address your tiktok your youtube all those it requires your email address and after you have that you can create a uh, you have your personal and you can create a business account with all those platforms if you on on TikTok, you can create a business account on TikTok. If you are on Instagram, you can create a business account. If you are on Facebook, you can do the same. If you are on YouTube, you can create a business account with all those platforms. And all those platforms is depend how you use them. They can consider asset or you can use them as consumer. Is is the same thing as when you buy a house if you buy the house you're just living in it and you spend money in the house every month it's not an asset you you own it can become an asset but if you spend money every month you don't you don't have any return that's when it's not an asset and if you have that house you live in a pot and then you rent somebody the other pot and the person pay you every month and that's considered an asset it's the same thing you can rent or you can sell your facebook account facebook facebook uh, page or facebook group you can sell your instagram you can sell your youtube you can sell all those things you can sell your your blog your website by the way a website costs a lot of money if you want to buy a website that already have a lot of visitors it can cost you like almost a million dollars some some five hundred thousand dollars for a website that's mean if you build your digital world and you can sell everything some people that's what they do they build a website bring traffic to the website and sell it that's what they do so if you are interested in learning more about digital real estate or digital asset click on the link that where it says my number one recommendation and you can learn more about this. See you.